Good evening and welcome to Ravenwood High School located in Brentwood, Tennessee for a 6A playoff game between your Ravenwood Raptors and Whitehaven High School out of Memphis. We are getting ready to get set here in this 6A battle. Whitehaven comes in with a 7-3 record and your Ravenwood Raptors come in an overall record of 8-2 finishing second in the region as Whitehaven finished third in Region 86A and had to travel east tonight to play this game. A lot of history between these two teams. They played three times in the semifinals back in 2014 where Ravenwood beat the 13-0 Whitehaven team. 2015 here at Ravenwood where Ravenwood prevailed again. And then 2018 where Whitehaven was able to beat the Raptors and then advance to the state championship game against Oakland. Amir Alinajan is set to kick off for the Raptors. And deep for Whitehaven is number nine, J Javion Summerall. Alinda John's kick is away. It's a low line drive, hits at the five, and will bounce into the end zone, and that will be a touchback. Whitehaven will start with the ball at the 20 yard line. I'd like to give a shout out to my guy, Brett Beeler, who's unable to join us tonight due to some sick children, so you're going to have to listen to me talk all night. Ball is spotted on the right hash at the 20, and Whitehaven will take over on their first possession here of the game. So lining up at quarterback for Whitehaven is number 11, William Carver, set to take the snap under center. And he hands it off, running back running to his left, and is dragged down at the line of scrimmage. That was number four, Darius Bodie. And a quick stop by the Raptors for no gain. Christian. Sam Christian on the tackle for the Raptors. That'll bring second down and 10 for Whitehaven. Carver under center. And now we've got an inadvertent whistle. And we're gonna have a substitution. Number 18, Danelle Frazier, wide receiver for Whitehaven will head to the sideline and be replaced by number 16, Mercarius Johnson, who is a Region 86A return specialist. And there's the handoff up the middle. That'll be for a gain of one yard. That will bring up third down and nine. Whitehaven keeping it on the ground early. So an opportunity here in the first half for the Raptors to get off the field very early. Third and eight. Carver brings Whitehaven to the line, and he will work out of the gun here. Takes a snap, looking to throw, looking to his right, and that is incomplete. Intended for number 18, Donnell Frazier, and that is the Michigan commit, Miles Pollard, in coverage right there. And that will bring up a fourth down situation for Whitehaven. Number four, Nathan Putty will stand at the Raptor 49 yard line ready to field the punt. Number 93, Nathan Pulliam on to punt for Whitehaven. The punt is away, end over end kick. It will hit at the 46. Putty fields it and falls on it, fumbles it for a second. Ravenwood will take over at their own 48 yard line. First and 10. First and Ravenwood is coached by Will Hester, who is in his second stint here at Ravenwood and is the all-time winningest coach with a record of 45 and six. That 2015 team that was able to beat Whitehaven here in the semifinals went on to win the championship. The 2014 fell short against Maryville in the championship game. Chris Parson, the Ra Raptors quarterback, is back this week. He will start in the gun. Takes a snap, takes the handoff, looks out to his right, and it is complete. That will be enough for a first down. That is Lee Millett on the catch. That will take it inside Whitehaven territory to the 37-yard line. Good start for Ravenwood, and the Raptors look to move quickly. Parson in the gun. 
Dickinson in motion this time. He hands off up the middle, and that will be a nice gain. Nine-yard pickup. Cartua Chapman on the carry. Ravenwood one-two punch of running back, starting with Chapman tonight. Parson brings the team to the line again. He's in the gun. Chapman to his right. And Whitehaven jumps off sides. That will be five free yards there, and that will move the ball to the Whitehaven 24-yard line and be first and 10 Raptors. Offside on the Tigers. So, fresh set of downs for Ravenwood. Chapman to Parsons' right. He takes a snap, looks down the field, heavy blitz and throws out, and that is incomplete. That was Chapman, uh, the intended receiver on that play. That will bring up second down and 10. We have 9.33 to go in the first quarter. Ravenwood on their first possession moving quickly. This drive started at their own 48-yard line, but it will be second down and 10. Raptors break the huddle. Behind the sticks a little bit. Parson in the gun. Takes a snap and pitches it. And that will be good enough for close to another Ravenwood first down. A little flip pass to Kaysen Edmondson there, getting him involved early. And that will be good enough for a Ravenwood first down. That will spot the ball at the Whitehaven 13-yard line. First and 10 Raptors. Parson the gun, Chapman to his left this time. Two receivers left, one right. Parson takes a snap, hands off Chapman. Nice chunk of yards inside the 10-yard line, down to the eight. That will bring up second down and about four. 9-11 to go in the first quarter. Raptors looking to take an early lead here. Parson in the gun. Two receivers right, one left now, one in motion. Comes and sets next to him in the backfield. Looking over to see the play call. 18 on the play clock. Parsons sets for the snap, takes it. Now option to his left, pitches it out to Chapman. He's to the 10, to the 5, and wrestled down right at the 5-yard line. That's going to be short of a first down. That will bring up third and two. So... Little speed option game to the left there for the Raptors. Raptors looking to punch it in here and take an early lead in this Class 6A playoff game. Parson takes a snap. He will go up the middle, weaves his way through traffic, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Five-yard run by the Florida State commit, Chris Parson, and that will give the Raptors an early 6 to nothing lead. That play, or that drive rather, took eight plays, covered 52 yards, and Ravenwood is on the board six to nothing with 8.14 to go in the first half. On for the extra point. Ansel Anderson, it is up, it is good, and that will give the Raptors a seven to nothing lead. Whitehaven, zero. Directors are pleased to have Ewell Nashville as the official pre-game meal provider. Helping to keep your Raptors fat. Eat like a Raptor, eat well. So Ravenwood strikes first, take a 7-0 lead over Whitehaven, and made it look rather easy on that first drive. A lot of unknowns kind of coming into this game. No common opponents between the two schools. Whitehaven did play Brentwood Academy back on September 10th in a very close game, losing 19 to six. But kind of an unknown as to how good the Memphis area is this year, as most schools in Memphis, Whitehaven included, did not play football a year ago. The number one seed out of that region is Collierville, who is hosting uh, Independence tonight. In other action, Brentwood traveled to Germantown to play the two seed and then Summit capturing the one seed is hosting Houston High School down in Spring Hill tonight. So 8.14 to go, Ravenwood up 7-0. Alina John on for the kickoff. Let's go! Get there! Get there! 
<laughs> kick is away. High hanging kick this time. It will be fielded at the eight yard line. Out across, a little bit of trickery there. And he's got a hold of the 50, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Whitehaven. What a play right there. That was impressive. Number 17, Mikhail Stewart takes the pitch and takes it to the house. So much needed response from Whitehaven there. And that will make the score 7-6 with 7.58 to go in the first quarter. Untouched. Ran by the entire Raptor special teams unit there. Heck of a play call. So Whitehaven running some kids onto the field. The play clock is down to 12. And they appear to not have a kicker on the field. As all the players look over, play clock runs down to five. And Whitehaven is going to have to burn a timeout in order to get the right personnel on the field. So a little shell-shocked are the Raptors after that incredible kickoff return. It was fielded at the eight-yard line, a quick pitch that was really difficult to see. And then Mikhail Stewart, the senior wide receiver, took it to the house. So a little bit of trickery here early to keep Whitehaven in. So that will, uh, Whitehaven will attempt to tie the game. So 7.58 to go. And Whitehaven will come out of the timeout and look to tie this game with an extra point. We assume. And when I say we, I mean me. But I was mistaken. They bring on the offensive unit, number 11. William Carver, the quarterback, is lined up, and they will attempt to take an 8-7 to seven lead with this two-point conversion. There's a handoff and the option to the right, and is pitched to number four, Darius Bodie, who is shut down quickly. So the Raptors will maintain a 7-6 to six lead as the two-point conversion fails. So we don't know a whole lot about Whitehaven. Don't know if that is a regular occurrence for them to not kick the extra point, but going for two here early and being a three seed, probably not a whole lot to lose here. Nonetheless, Raptors stay in front and the Raptor offense will take the field here in a minute. Uh, all right, all right, ladies, bring the left. Sure. I'm signing on. Right, with 22 this morning. Yeah, and when you follow the ball this time, don't go up. Just hands to the hands to the. Um, <laughs> All right, the top-notch operation here continues. We have a special guest in the booth tonight. Hi, guys. My name is Jack Foster. I was here with you guys for the play-by-play uh, -play announcement of the Powder Puff game. That was a great game. Hope to repeat that excitement tonight. Well, welcome. Appreciate it. And the kickoff sails out of bounds. That will put the ball at the 35-yard line. Raptors will be in possession, uh, looking to extend the 7-6 to six lead. Or perhaps not. We are going to kick again. It will take the five-yard penalty, and they will set it up at the 35-yard line now. Take two. J.T. Smitherman and Isaac Rollins standing at the 20-yard line to field the kick.
So we will do it again. Kick is away. It will be fielded by Smitherman at the 18. He takes it over the 25 to the 30. A little bit of a hole. And will fall forward to the 40-yard line. So nice return there for the Raptors. That's a good run. That's about all you can ask for there. So Chris Parson will lead the Ravenwood offense back onto the field. Last drive covered 52 yards in eight plays and was capped off with a Parson four-yard touchdown run. Parson in the gun. Pace to his right this time, setting up the screen and is well covered. Parson spins out and will take off, get to the 40 and 45 yard line, five yard gain on first down. You know, Parson's been really impressive with getting away from that pressure. That rollout is uh, key to gaining those extra yards. That will bring up second down and five. Parson already has the Raptors at the line. Three receivers to the right, excuse me, to the left, one to the right. Pace to his left in the backfield. And Whitehaven jumps, and that should be enough for a first down. Whitehaven having a little trouble with their discipline tonight, second time they've jumped off sides. Looks like the chains are moving, so that is first down. That will mark the ball in Whitehaven territory at the 49-yard line. Parson in the gun. Takes a snap, option, and pitches the Utah pass. Shovel pass forward to Dickinson. He will get about three yards. And that will bring up second down and seven. Run by Brendan Dickinson. A little wrinkle there in the Raptor offense. It's 7.05 to go in the first quarter. Ravenwood leading Whitehaven 7-6. Parson takes a snap, hands off to Pace. A little bit of running room, and that will be close to another first down. A little bit short, probably about a yard and a half. Let's bring up a third down situation. Important for the Raptors to keep the chains moving here. Exactly. This is kind of the momentum drive. This is kind of show Whitehaven who they're playing tonight. No doubt. I would imagine this could be four down territory for the Raptors. But perhaps it doesn't come to that. Parson in the gun, Dickinson in motion. Parson takes the snap, hands off to Pace, and that'll be good enough for another Ravenwood first down. Really important play there, really important play. That'll keep the offense moving, keep them rolling, hopefully go down and get six more. That'll bring up first and 10 now on a short field. Ball at the Whitehaven 36 yard line. Raptors in the huddle. Don't see that very often. Parson in the gun. Which goes without saying. Fakes the jet sweep looking down the field. Nobody there, flag Flags on the play. Down. Parson tucks it and runs. We'll get to the 30-yard line. That one is probably going to come back as it's thrown in the area of holding. Against the Raptors. So that will set the Raptors back. We will replay first down. And they will spot the chains at the ooh, big penalty there, all the way back at the Raptor 44-yard line. I guess it is 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Is that the rule? 10 yards from the spot. Yep. So that brings up first down and forever. Now first and 23. Ish. 31. Ooh. Parson takes a snap, throws a little wide receiver screen Ooh. out there to Miles Pollard. Ooh, it took a tough hit Big to the hit head there. right there. Looked pretty high, but it's hard to say. Yeah, I was about to say that could have been targeting. Obviously, I'm 100 yards away. Don't have great eyesight, but that uh, <laughs> took a pretty good hit to the head. Yeah, I, usually when the refs see the jolt to the head, they're 
pretty quick to throw that flag. No flag on the play, though. That'll bring up second down for the Raptors. Still have to go all the way to the 24-yard line. Oh, and Parson tucks it under a lot In of pressure. Trouble. Throw heaves it, it up. Gets it's it away. Uh, Pace. Pace will be knocked down at the 50. A lot of pressure there from that Whitehaven defense. This Whitehaven team, like I mentioned early in the broadcast, is known for their defense, just giving up 9.8 points a game and had five players on the defensive side of the ball on the region 8 6 18. <laughs> Looks so like it's, it's going to be third and long again, about third and 23. So long way to go for the Raptors here. Incredible play just to get rid of it. Got JT Smitherman in the backfield now with Parson. Millette out to his right, three receivers to his left. Takes a snap, quick throw, and a little, a little shuttle out of right there. And they'll get up there, but it won't be enough for the first. Great call by Coach Duncan and Hester right there to make some of that yardage up. That's going to bring up fourth and about five. I imagine the Raptors will go for it here. But the old hook and ladder play, hitting Millette, and then the quick pitch to Smitherman on the short side of the field. So Raptors will go for it, about fourth and seven, actually. They've got to get to the Whitehaven 26-yard line. Carson takes a snap, pocket collapses around him, steps up, throws oh, it. Oh, it's high and it's picked off. Whitehaven will take it the other way to the 32 yard line. And Whitehaven will be in business. So, first turnover for the Raptors. Not a trend we want to get going there with the turnovers. Hope not. That's a pretty rare occasion with Chris Parson. He's been, from what I've seen, he's been pretty on spot with his passes, but that was just way over his head. The games where the Raptors have struggled this year have been because of turnovers. Six turnovers against NBA, five against Summit, which coincidentally are only two losses of the season. So Whitehaven will bring the offense on the field. William Carver still at quarterback and will start this possession in the gun. Two receivers to his right, two to his left, and one back in the backfield. Takes the handoff. A little bit of momentum there, and we'll push it over the 35 to about the 37-yard line. Number four, Darius Bodie on the carry. So they're spreading the Raptors out a little bit on this drive. First drive, under center, straight handoffs. This time going a little bit of a spread formation. Carver takes the handoff. Excuse me, hands it off, and he'll fall forward for one yard. That again was number four, Darius Bodie. Now we'll bring up third and short. Got the cowbells ringing. And number one, Jacquez Bradley runs on late. Big body right there. Oh, and the ball he still gets it off, wow. Good recovery there by number one. So ball hits the turf, Bradley picks it up and crosses midfield into Raptor territory. So disaster averted for Whitehaven, unfortunately for Ravenwood. That'll bring up first and 10 from the Ravenwood 48 yard line. Whitehaven already on the ball. Carver directing traffic in the gun. Takes it, looks out to his left, it is complete. Ravenwood's there to meet him. Quick tackle there. By the Raptors. Tanner Shuck, the transfer out of North Carolina on the play. Whitehaven on the ball quickly. Takes the snap, hands it off to Bradley, this time running to his left. Big body. Big kid. Yeah, big kid. He broke through the one tackle like it was nothing. He's listed at 6'3", 180. That doesn't look legitimate. Looks much bigger than that. <laughs> that will bring up third down again. Third and about five. Four or five, yep. Whitehaven has to get it to the Raptor 38-yard line. Quick pass out to the right, and that is incomplete. That was intended for number 16, Mercarius Johnson. We'll see what Whitehaven will do here. Looks like they're sending the punt team on.
play to just not turn up how they wanted. I think they expected 16 to keep going upfield, but he wasn't there for the for the catch. So Nathan Putty puts digs his heels in at the 10 yard line, and number 90. Nathan Pulliam is on to kick. Some momentum here for Whitehaven. And it is a fake. fake. He will get around. Got it. Got a lot of room. Oh, there's a flag down. So this yeah. might get sent back for holding. I think that was an illegal shift on Whitehaven. Or a hold, rather. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, indeed. So that will move Whitehaven back 10 yards from the spot of the foul and uh, probably be a straight up punt this time. Golden opportunity missed there, number six. And Darius Hall took that snap and had it deep into Raptor territory. Whitehaven special teams pulling out all the trickery tonight. Just trying to get him past it. And also a sideline warning on Ravenwood. So, okay. Anyway, <laughs> that will spot the ball at the 45-yard line of Whitehaven. Pulliam still on to punt. Putty stationed just inside the 20-yard line for the Raptors. Fourth and 17, so we'll see what they do here. Raptors look like they're coming after it. And the punt's Punt away. Is away. High and short. It will hit at the 30, take a Ravenwood bounce, and be downed at the 31-yard line. So Ravenwood, the turnover does not bite them, and they will be in business for their third possession of the night with one minute, 23 seconds to go. Ravenwood holding a 7-6 to six lead here in the first quarter. Parson back out. It's time with Chapman. It's the Raptor running back duo of Chapman and Pace rotating in and out tonight. There's the handoff to Chapman. Makes a cut up to his right. We'll fall forward, get about five on first down. Solid gain on first down. That's a great run for Ravenwood. Great run. He'll take six any day of the week. Parson by himself in the gun. Now Chapman motions back to his right. He looks out to his left, and that is complete to Lee Millette. That will be good enough to move the chains. Millette's second catch, third catch of the night. He also had the hook and ladder play earlier. First down, Raptors. Looking to get the ball out quick to try and alleviate some of that Whitehaven pressure. Because they got some great pressure on that defense. A little movement on the line, but no one reacts, so they will not draw a flag. Parson looks like he is changing the play. Carter Pace with him, fakes the handoff. He'll take it himself. Parson runs out to his right, jumps over a Whitehaven defender, and will run out of bounds at the 49-yard line into Whitehaven territory. I love that about Parson. He can get away from that pressure so quick. He's got such fast speed. He's just always hot, always going. Florida State commit out there making plays yet again. He will bring the Raptors to the line. Millette to his right. Two receivers to his left. Dickinson out to the far left. Looks like Chapman is back in the backfield. Parson. Takes a snap, fakes the handoff, throws it across the middle. It is complete. And that's Kaysen Edmondson on the catch to the 36-yard line. Quick throws are really working now. Quick throws. I think our offensive coordinator knows that Whitehaven's got that pressure coming. It seems like they're bringing the pressure almost every play. So getting rid of the ball quick is going to be an important factor for Ravenwood here. Clock's about to run out, and it does. And that'll bring the first quarter to conclusion with Ravenwood holding a 7-6 to six lead over Whitehaven. It will be first and 10 Raptors as we go to the quarter break and are attempting to extend this lead even further. 
American Physician Partner, the Dr. Gill Center for Back and Neck Pain, First Tennessee, and the D Construction, a moment to be. Jet Pizza, United Healthcare. Beautiful night here in Brentwood, a little chilly. Not so much in the press box. Not so much in the press boxes. Getting a little hot up here. R and S Flooring. The Good Food Group. Ford Lincoln of Franklin. And Miles Autosma. So in other action tonight, Brentwood traveled to Germantown to play the Germantown Red Devils. Houston High School made the trek up to play Summit, who's the one seed in Region 7. And the other game is Collierville hosting Independence. We'll attempt to bring you some scores as we get them. Ravenwood offense back on the field. Parson hands it off up the middle. Solid gain of three yards there. Cartua Chapman on the carry. Second and seven for Ravenwood. Germantown leading Brentwood 13 to nothing. Down in the suburbs of Memphis. Parson takes the snap, hands off again, and Chapman will be cut down at the 32 yard line. Bring up another third down for Ravenwood. It's about third and third and five, third and six. Somewhere in between there, I think. Probably four down territory either way for the Raptors. A little too far for a field goal here. Parson takes a snap, rolls his left, sets up the screen. It is complete. Crosses the 30 and will be knocked out at the 26-yard line, which is going to be just a little short. Dickinson on the catch. Dickinson filled in at quarterback last week for the injured Parson. And that's going to bring up fourth and one. Ravenwood doesn't even hesitate. This is an important play. you got to set the tone for the second quarter. Raptors looking to extend this lead, and Whitehaven will burn their second time out of the night. Like I said, beautiful night here. Good sized student section here for the Raptors on camo night. Apparently, you got the memo on camo night, too. Heck yeah, man. There you go. I did not, but no one cares. So, anyway, <laughs> it'll be fourth and one. We also have basketball aficionado Brett Shelby running the show tonight. Doing a bang up job. Switching cameras around. And if you don't like the views, it's not our you fault. You can it's email his. him. But he probably won't read it, so it's not important. Anyway. It's probably written in a vicious contract. All right. Ravenwood set. Hard count here by Parson, trying to get Whitehaven to jump. Play clock is at 15. Takes a snap, hands off up the middle. That Well, Parson keeps it, actually. He will maneuver and get over the 25-yard line. Still, Still going. Still going, wow. wow. Heck of an effort there. He drug down at the 21-yard line. Great play there. I think he faked both of us up here in the play box. I thought he handed it off to the guy in the middle there. Yeah, I, uh, I totally did. So that will be first and 10 Raptors from the 21-yard line looking to get inside the red zone here. Millette will head over to the left on the short side of the field. Three receivers to the right. Parson with an empty backfield set to take the snap. Looks over for the sideline to potentially change the play. And there's a snap, fakes a jet sweep, looks out to his Into right. the end zone, wide and open. That is touchdown. Wow. Wonderful plays by Parson. Number seven, Blake Irvin on the catch. Big catch for Ravenwood. 
21 yard touchdown pass from Parson to Urban. That will put Ravenwood up 13 to six. As Anderson is on for the extra point. The set is down, the kick is up. It is good. Ravenwood extends the lead 14 to six with 10.05 to go in the second quarter. Big drive there for Ravenwood to kind of establish uh, a much needed offense there. Yeah, the O-line really held that Whitehaven pressure there. They seriously brought it on that, that uh, touchdown pass we saw earlier. So like I mentioned earlier, not sure what to expect out of Whitehaven. Did not play football last year due to the pandemic. Back this year, proud program out of Memphis. State runner up in 2018. Ron Salisbury Sr. has been the coach there for a long time. The South Memphis School. Helena John will be on to kick away from the 40-yard line. So on the last kickoff, the quick toss led to a Whitehaven touchdown. Let's see if there's any trickery here. Three Whitehaven players deep inside the 10 yard line. So not a typical alignment. Number nine, Javion Summerall stands in the middle. Helena John kicks it deep. Summerall will take it at the two. Takes it out to the 10 and he will be met Ooh. by a host of Raptors. Wow. at the 21-yard line. Much better coverage that time for Ravenwood. That was a great hit. So it'll be first and 10, Whitehaven at their own 21-yard line. Corbin Thrift, Frith on the hit, excuse me, not Thrift. My apologies. First down, Whitehaven. Whitehaven offense out on the field. Play clock is already at 15. They appear to be in no hurry. Carver still at quarterback for Whitehaven. Takes a snap, hands off up the middle, and he is hit quickly. Good containment there by the D-line. Judas on the hit there, I think. And that is verified by our PA announcer, Mr. Bilbo. That will bring up second down and nine for Whitehaven. Number four, Bodie, is in the background with Carver. Carver takes the snap, throws it out to his right, and that will be spotted just short of the first down, I believe. Or perhaps not. No, they're moving the chain. So first down, Whitehaven. Quick pass out of the backfield. Moving quickly, Carver takes a snap, throws out to his left. It is complete, but well defended by the Raptors, and he will be stopped at the 31-yard line. That'll be a loss on the play. Great coverage there. Yeah, once again, great coverage by the Raptor defense. Really read that play from the Whitehaven offense. Parker Corley of second period honors Gov fame on the stop. That'll bring up second down and 12. Four receivers for Whitehaven. Bodie in the back field. Carver takes pressure it, coming. pressure. Misses the tackle. And he will hurl it way down the field and it will be incomplete. Coverage by Lee Millette on the play. Could not come up with it as it was a jump ball, but great job to make sure that Whitehaven was not able to secure that catch. Carver taking a play out of Parsons' book there. Spinning out of trouble. 
It was a risky throw there. He just kind of heaved it up for anyone to grab, for, just for grabs. Almost a Hail Mary there. Third down and 11. Carver takes the snap and will heave it down the middle of the field and airmails it over number nine. Javion Summerall, the intended target there. That will bring up fourth down again for Whitehaven. It looks like Whitehaven will bring out their punting team. So fourth and 12, Putty comes on to return the kick for Ravenwood. Stationed at the 35 yard line of the Raptors. Pulliam, excuse me. Yes, Pulliam on to kick for Whitehaven. He takes it, kick is away, good kick. Sails it, Putty slips as he catches the dangerous catch there at the 31 yard line. That'll bring up first down, Ravenwood. First and 10 Raptors leading Whitehaven 14 to six, 8-11 to go in the first half. Person in the gun, he's got pace in the backfield this time. Tight formation, fakes the handoff, spins back, throws it out to his right, and that is complete to Putty. We marked out at the 37 yard line. A little different formation there from the Raptors. Second and four. Parson takes the snap, takes the handoff to pace, throws it out across the middle. Great catch. That is Millet. Fifth catch of the night already. A diving catch. That was a great play. Lee Millet continues to make. Oh, the refs call it incomplete. Wow. They, they talked about it for a second. They said it hit the ground. Uh, I don't think if it takes that long, they should make that call. I, I mean, agree. Make a call, move on. We don't have instant replay in high school. Uh, well, so that'll reset it at third down. Whew. Didn't I'll look like it hit the ground, but I don't know. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, even though I don't want to. Anyway. Some White, movement, but. White, yeah, Whitehaven a little antsy at the line again. Raptors thought they'd jump. Parson takes a snap. Hands off to Pace, who maneuvers forward, and that would be good enough for a first down. Nice second effort there by Pace. First down, Raptors. 7.50 to go. Ravenwood leading 14 to 6. Parson in the gun, takes it. Hands off to Pace yet again. Goes to the hole his right, but is met by about four Whitehaven defenders. That'd be good for a pickup of four. Right, let's go. Now generous four, maybe three. Second and seven. And they haven't moved the stick yet. There they go. Carson takes it, option to the left, pitches it, and Pace catches it. Bobbles it, slips, but he's... And his uh, knee hit the ground in the backfield. That'll be a loss of four for the Ravenwood offense. That will bring up third down and about 11, 12. All right, let's go. To play. Raptors looking to make a play here. 6.33 to go. Parson ready to take the snap. Drops back in the pocket, steps up. There's a flag down. Pass is incomplete. Intended for Millet. Bounced it at the 30-yard line. Probably a hold on the Raptors, which I would imagine Whitehaven would decline. And it is. It is a hold. 
Let's see what they do here. They will decline the penalty. Coach Salisbury over there waving his hands to decline it. So that will bring up fourth and 12. Raptor offense. Yep, yep. Coach Hester thinks better of it, and the punt team is coming onto the field. So Dickinson on for the punt. Penalty on the Raptors declined. Ravenwood leading 14 to 6, 618 to go in the first half. Dickinson on for the Raptors' first punt of the night. Two Whitehaven players deep to receive. Number 18, Danelle Frazier, and number 16, Marcarius Johnson. Marcarius Johnson, an all region selection on special teams out of Region 86A. Dangerous return man to the right. I imagine Ravenwood will not kick it in his direction. There is the snap. Dickinson. Oh, no. Oh, the ball is loose. loose. And Whitehaven will jump on it and have great field position at the 26-yard line. So another special teams mistake by the Raptors. You had the trickery on the kickoff, which led to Whitehaven's only touchdown. You had a fake punt by Whitehaven that was called back due to a hold. And now you have a bobbled snap by the Raptors, putting Whitehaven in business at the 26-yard line of Raven. So first down, Whitehaven. Chance to try and go in and even this game up. Yeah, that's a game-changing mistake. So Carver under center, running back seven yards deep. And there is the handoff to number one, Jacquez Bradley, who takes it over the right side for a gain of three. Handoff to one. Tackle made by Andrew Dudas. Andrew Dudas filling the hole for the Raptors. Second down and eight. Carver in the gun. Bradley to his right, big running back. Takes it, and Carver will tuck it and run to his right, and he is hit hard. Wow. In the hole on the right side. Gain of four. That will bring up third down. Stolen work on the tackle for the Raptors. That will bring up third and six. Big play here for the Raptor defense. Be great to get off the field. Whitehaven sees something they don't like. They burn their final timeout of the first half. So Whitehaven out of timeouts with 5.16 to go. Ravenwood looking to get a big stop and get off the field here in order to preserve this 14-6 lead. Coach Hester cannot be happy with the special teams play of the Raptors in the first half. Problem. I would assume not because that's a mistake that you cannot make, especially not that deep in your own territory. So in the two losses the Raptors had this year, prone to turnovers, but tonight has been the special teams game that has struggled and been somewhat inconsistent all year. Raptors looking to get a big stop here on third down, get off the field, and try and extend this lead before halftime if possible. So it will be third down and we'll call it six, maybe five, long five. Carver will go under center for Whitehaven. Bradley lined up seven yards deep in the backfield. Big physical running back. They fake the pitch to him, throw it out of the car. Intercepted. The and it is intercepted. Big play by Ravenwood. Not fooled on that one. Andrew Dudas reads that play perfectly and is there to bring it down with one hand, actually. It was a great catch. Dudas knew exactly where to be on that play. Big turnover for the Raptors. So that will put Ravenwood in business. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. We have 5.09 to go in the first half. Need to cash in on this drive. Definitely need to cash in on this drive. Parson in the gun. 
Dickinson in motion. Takes a snap, hands off up the middle. Looks like Chapman this time, just a gain of two. Hand off to Cartua Chapman. Second down. Second down and seven for the Raptors. Parson rolls out to his right, looking down the field, steps up in the pocket and escapes some traffic, takes it over the 25 and gets cut down at the 28 yard line. He will be just short of a first down, third and one coming up. Looking to make a little bit of magic there again. It's what he does best, man. He's always hot in his feet. You love to see it. Third and one, Parson in the gun. Takes a snap, hand off to Chapman who runs to his left. He will have the first down. Gain of about three on the play. Raptor first down. Plenty of time, 4.06 to go as they move the chains, stop the clock to reset it. Play clock at 28. Parson takes a snap, handoff, and he goes nowhere. Loss of one on the play. Chapman on the carry. So second 11 for Ravenwood. So Whitehaven D has lived up to its billing so far, been able to slow the Raptors down on several occasions. Parson takes a snap, takes a few steps back in the pocket, looking for Millette. That is incomplete. So third down and 11. Ravenwood trying to counter this Whitehaven pressure with a fast offense, but that pass was just a little too low. Indeed, Ravenwood breaking the huddle here with just 18 seconds left. And a tighter formation this time. Millette out far to the right, fakes the jet sweep. Parsons steps up, throws it down the middle, and sails it. And that will be incomplete. So that will be fourth down. Dickinson will come on to punt. Hopefully a better uh, result than the last one. All right, fourth down. Similar spot to last time, so let's hope we don't make the same mistake twice. Dickinson on, stands at the 14-yard line. Takes a snap this time and gets away a booming kick. It will hit and will be fielded dangerously at the 26-yard line, but no gain. Well covered by the Raptors. Caden Kello, the long snapper, making the play, and he is fired up. Way to go, Caden. That will be first and 10 at the Raptor 26 yard line. Whitehaven ball. We have two minutes and 35 seconds. So imagine Ravenwood will try to use some timeouts depending on the first couple play calls here to potentially get the ball back for the end of the first half. Raptor defense has stalled a little bit here on the last couple of drives. Carver in the gun, two receivers left. He will run the option to the left and he will pitch it out. And he gets to the edge and will move it upfield to the 36 yard line. That will be close to a Whitehaven first down, not what Raven was looking to do there. And yes, they will give him the first down and respot the chains with 2.21 to go. So first down, Whitehaven. Parker Corley and J.C. Smitherman. First down. Carver in the gun. Whitehaven looking to move quickly now. Takes the snap. Option to his right. Fakes the pitch. Nice move. Gets up over across the 40 and will be dragged down at the 44-yard line. Let's go. 
Carver's got some wheels also. He was able to break two tackles and escape from being brought down for a loss, actually. Very physical, shifty back. A minute 41, clock is ticking, second down and two. Whitehaven's got to be careful with this run game. They don't run out of time. Carver steps back and throws it to no one. Number uh, 16, 17, Stewart, Mikhail Stewart, not happy with the throw there. But there is no one in the general vicinity of that pass. Ravenwood pressure was coming. He just kind of sent it up. The third and two. Look for the Raptors to take a timeout if Whitehaven does not convert here. If it is a run play. And there is the handoff. He's he will not convert. Whoa. J.T. Smitherman on the stop. Doing what he does best. And Raptors will burn the timeout, make it fourth down. And Whitehaven will be forced to punt. Oh, no. J.T. Smitherman comes over to the sideline, crumpled up. He's fine. Drink some water. Rub some dirt on it. <laughs> it's all good. Pretty heavy collision, though, so easy for me to say, just standing up here <laughs> in this warm press box. Nonetheless, it'll be fourth and two for Whitehaven. A minute 17 to go. Ravenwood has two timeouts left, so we'll have an opportunity to move the ball downfield and stop the clock a couple of times, see if they can get something on this drive right before the half. That would be big. Would be huge. Watch the fake. We'll definitely <laughs> watch the fake. That would be a gutsy call in Raptor territory, but been pretty successful with the trickery tonight. Well, here we go. More motion. It's looking and like it a, is fake. a fake. Hmm. Ooh. It's going to depend on the spot. Man, they gave him a really Ooh, nice spot. That's a generous spot for Whitehaven right there. The spot we're seeing now would look like they converted it. And it'll be first down Whitehaven. Unreal. The crowd's not liking that one. And I mean, that was generous. We had a perfect view of it. We were standing roughly right on the 45-yard line. Uh, he definitely S did not break that first down mark. Side judge on the opposite side of the field. Generous spot. But well, we called it. <laughs> not all of them go your way, so make a play on the next one. All right, 53 seconds. Clock still running. Carver steps back, looking to throw it down the left side, up number 17. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? They are going to get the Raptors for pass interference there, I guess. His hands were up. There was no grabbing. I'm not sure if I agree with that one either. Looked like Rollins on the coverage. Whew. So that will be 15 yards and a Whitehaven first down. So Whitehaven looking to build their own momentum now. 38 seconds to go. Don't have any timeouts. Sack would be huge here. And, yep, they call pass interference on the Raptors. That's a tough, tough call. So after a questionable spot and now a questionable pass interference call, he'll be first down Whitehaven at the Ravenwood 38-yard line. Yeah, that's what you're taught to do is to get up close to him, put your hands up, block the pass. That's exactly what he did, and they got him for it. So, 38 seconds to go. Carver in the gun. Play clock at 15. Bodie shifts over to his right. 
Takes the snap, will throw it out quickly to the right side. It is complete, but he is mowed down quickly by Miles Pollard. Pass complete. Take it down, Trying to test the Michigan signee, not a good idea. Whitehaven on the ball quickly. Clock is running, 20 seconds. And that will be I think a false Whitehaven start. Whitehaven jumped. Yes. Yes. Sending them back. 16 seconds left. No 10 second runoff in high school, but it will be second down and 15. 16 seconds to go. Ball at the Raptor 43 yard line. Uh oh, they're talking again. Not sure what they're talking about. Yeah, they're going to run off. I think they're going to run off 10 seconds. Perhaps not. They do start the clock. Whitehaven breaks the huddle quickly. I don't know if they're going to get this play off. It's done seven, six. He takes it, throws it. It's going to be a little trickery. Trick play. Heaves it downfield. Go He's got someone. Oh, uh -oh. no. One missed tackle, two. And he will be stood up. Is he? Blow the whistle. Yeah, that oh, was. Oh, goodness. He will be stopped at the two-yard line. Create a <laughs> play call. Give him that. So they, stopped. they sweep it to Bradley. He throws deep to number 17, Mikhail Stewart, who is stopped at the two-yard line. Whitehaven kind of just looking like, is it over? But, yes, that is the end of the first half. Your Ravenwood Raptors hold a 14-6 lead over Whitehaven. We will be gone for about 20 minutes and then join you for, for second half action here from Brentwood, Tennessee. See you soon. Welcome back to Ravenwood High School. Your Ravenwood Raptors holding a 14-6 lead over Whitehaven, and we are set to start the second half. Raptors will receive the ball as Whitehaven is set to kick off. Pulling him on to kick for Whitehaven. Kick is away. It will be fielded at the 15-yard line. Across the 20 and 25, a little seam, and ooh. Big hit there. Blown up at the 33-yard line. Dr. Vaden is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Gracing us with her presence. The one and only. Great night here at Raymond for football. 46 degrees, a little chilly, but we still got a great turnout. Not chilly in the press box. Definitely not chilly in the press box. So it'll be first and 10, Ravenwood. Parson takes a snap, hands off to Pace. He will cross the 37 yard line, excuse me, the 33 yard line, almost up to the 35. Gain of a couple. Second down and seven. Carson takes the, ready to take the snap. Looks like Whitehaven's coming with the pressure once more. We're gonna press coverage here on Millette. Parson takes it and throws it out to his left. It is caught, breaking a tackle. I believe that is Dickinson and he will fall forward for a first down. Nice adjustment there. Very nice adjustment. He really got around that defender and lunged for that first down. It's gonna work out for him. First and 10 Raptors. Raptors huddling up, very deliberate. Now coming to the line of scrimmage. Parson in the pistol formation, pace behind him, tight formation with four wide receivers. Parson hands off to pace, and he is stacked up quickly for no gain at the 44-yard line. That hole closed quickly, and looks like we got an injured Whitehaven player, number 27. That is Javante Mackey, who is an all-region player, and he looks to be able to get off the field on his own accord. Hope to see him back quickly. So it'll be second and 10 Ravenwood. Parson in the gun, pace to his right. Dickinson in motion, 
Hands off to Pace. Looked like he had a hole there for a minute, but it closed quickly. No gain. We'll bring up third and 10. Whitehaven defense really closing the gaps here. We're not being able to punch through in that center run. Whitehaven, a very talented defensive unit. Five players on the all-region team. But Parson will probably go to the air here on third and 10. Takes a snap, rolls out to his left. Pressure's Pressure. coming. He spins out of it and now looks up the field and will take off Ooh. and will get knocked out of bounds after a minimal gain. Gain of four on the play. That will bring up fourth and sixth and the Raptors punting unit will come on the field. Raptors not able to pull any big strike capability tonight. At least not yet. Not the ideal start for the second half. Dickinson on to punt. And it's a fake. Snap to the up back. He will take it to the He's 40 got room. 50 and he will be tripped up. So a little bit of Whitehaven's own medicine right there. Risky. Andrew Dudas on the direct snap. Risky and upbeat, and I like it. But Coach Hester rolls the dice, and that'll be good enough for a Ravenwood first down at the 35-yard line of Whitehaven. 14 to 6, 9.28 to go in the third quarter. Ravenwood needs to capitalize on the trick play. Parson in the gun. Putty in motion. Handoff, I believe to pace. And he will get a couple up to the 34-yard line. Second and eight. Raptor offense having trouble getting the ground game going here in the second half. Or any game for that matter. Parson takes the snap, hands off to Pace this time, and he will be stacked up quickly. Gain of maybe one on the play. Third down. That will bring up third down. Seem to be running similar plays here. The running through the middle keeps getting us stopped. Let's see if the Raptors look to bounce one outside here. Maybe a little option action. Parson will take a three-step drop, steps up into the pocket, lots of pressure, gets out of it, and will now look to throw it down the field and throws oh. it just short. Under duress. I believe that was intended for Blake Rom, number 11. Fourth and eight, and Raptor offense is going to stay on the field. Big play right here. Fourth and eight. Whitehaven trying to get a defender off the field. They just do. Parson takes a snap. They're throwing back a screen to Millette. Nice little block there. Makes a move. Oh, I think and he's short. He's short. So that will be fourth down, or excuse me, that will be first down, Whitehaven, as we have the turnover on downs at the 27-yard line. So Millette gets about six there. Was not able to turn it upfield and get the first down. So it will be first down Whitehaven at the t Ravenwood 28-yard line. Raptor defense needing a stop here. Coach Hester's 13th playoff game here at Ravenwood holding a record of 10 and 2 coming in in the playoffs. Carver runs to his right, cut down quickly at the line. No gain on the play. JT Smitherman on the tack. Second down and eight. Some 
20 on the play clock. 7.16 to go in the third quarter. Carver takes a handoff, gives it to number one. He's got a big seam, Ooh, and he is. Bradley is flying down the field, but he's brought down. That is Bradley. Great touchdown saving tackle there by Parker Corley, I believe. Tackle made by Parker Corley. It is first down. That'll be first down, Whitehaven. Complexion of this game changing before our eyes. So Bradley, a nice change of pace back for Whitehaven. Carver takes a snap, runs to his right, has a little bit of room, nice gain here on first down, cuts it back, and he will pick up about five. Yeah, Raven seems to have a hard time stopping this quick running offense that Whitehaven has. A lot of speed out there. It is second down. Second and five. Second down. Cowbells are ringing. And handoff to number four, Bodie. Nice gain here on second down. It's going to be close to the first down. And they're going to save first down. A couple of generous spots tonight by this crew. Raptors need to step up and make a play. And handoff to Bodie again. He runs to his right, speeds through the hole. Great pickup on first down. That's going to be enough for another Whitehaven first down. Kind of shredding the Raptor defense right now. First down, Whitehaven. It is first down. Raptor fans trying to motivate the defense here. Carver's going to keep it. Runs to his left, will cut it upfield. Nice gain, and he will get inside the five-yard line to the four. There's a flag down back at the line of scrimmage. Probably a hold, and yes, it is. So that will come back. Good catch there. So that will be first down and 20. Holding on Whitehaven. So let's see if the Raptors can get a stop with the help of that penalty there. Whitehaven very successful on the last few plays, gashing the Raptor defense with the run game. Four minutes, 50 seconds remain in this quarter, the third quarter. Carver fakes the hazard play action, will run to his right, being chased by a host of Raptors. Nice little block. Oh, oh my gets goodness. Gets drilled on the corner. I think it was Smitherman on the tackle. Comes up a little gimpy. It is second down. But a heck of a hit right there. Gain of a few on the play. We'll call it four. Second and 16. Clock running almost down to four minutes. Carver under center. Power eye formation. Hands off to Bradley. He will go nowhere. Stacked up. At the line of scrimmage, that'll be third down. Raptors trying to cling to life here. Get a big defensive stop. So third and 16 for Whitehaven. Raptors definitely want to get off the field here. This is a quick moving 
third quarter as we are down to three minutes, 24 seconds to go. Ravenwood 14, Whitehaven six. Big play coming up. Raptors need to stop. Raptor faithful are on their feet. Some movement on the line. Carver rolls out to his right. Steps up and will throw it short. Oh, goodness are gracious. Are you kidding me? Pass interference flag most likely. You got to be kidding me. All right, well, that will be an automatic first down. Absolute backbreaker right there. I just don't. Uh, it's good coverage. I don't, I don't see it, but I'm biased, I guess. So that will be a 15-yard penalty if it's offensive pass interference. I'm not sure what else it could be. And it is pass interference, so that will. About the third or fourth questionable call. But okay, what do we know? Okay, so actually in high school, it's not an automatic first down. It's a 15-yard penalty. It will still be third and five. You would think after all these years of calling high school games, I would know that rule. My bad. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's different than the college and pro rules. Anyway, a flag Carver takes to his right, Ryan. and now there's a flag. You got to think this is a makeup call here. It's got to be a hold. It's most likely a hold, but if it is not, he did get to the end zone. Let's see what it is. And it is holding. A little makeup call? Perhaps, for sure. Anyway, that'll be third and 15 now. A lot of drama here. 256. So, of course, as soon as I say it's a quick moving third quarter, we have several stoppages of play. Flags start flying. So, big play here. Got to think it's two down territory for Whitehaven. Don't necessarily have to get the first down here, but are going to need some yards. The ball is set. The referees are in the Whitehaven huddle. I'm not sure what's going on. Trainer runs onto the field. And now the trainer runs off. So, ball's at the 20 yard line. Need to get to the six for a first down. Scores 14 to six with two minutes and 56 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Big play here. Carver in the gun. Two receivers right, one to the left. He looks to his left, he will throw the fade. And uh, incomplete. I was waiting for the flag. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> Good coverage by Isaac Rollins on the play. They threw it up to number nine, Javion Summerall. Unable to make the play. Now it'll be fourth down. Whitehaven offense stays on the field. Now it's a big play. Whitehaven has not had a lot of success offensively tonight. Only score came on a end around on a kickoff. So trying to cash in while they're in the red zone here. Possibly their last chance to even up this game for this drive. Here we go. Carver steps back, throws it up, Ooh. wide open, touchdown. Bradley. So, that will make it 14 to 12, and Whitehaven will try to tie it up. I, I assume they will go for two. Let's go, baby. Yeah, they're turning their offense around. Those who are coming to the sideline, so it looks like they're going for two. Play clock is at 13. Raptors stop the two-point conversion last time, so we'll see if they can do it again. Carver in the gun, runs to his right, tries to get to the edge, and he got it. So that will tie the game up at 14 all. Two-point conversion. So. Here comes Whitehaven, and it's tied up at 14 apiece. We have two minutes, 36 seconds to go. 
in the third quarter. So Whitehaven takes care of business on the fourth down conversion and now leads, or excuse me, ties the Raptors at 14. Long, long drive there for Whitehaven. Their running game seriously ran the clock down. It's gonna be the Raptors' first touch in a long time. Brentwood has moved ahead of Germantown, 21 to 13 down in Memphis. Nolansville just putting it on station camp, 42 to 14 in the third quarter. And Summit and Houston are battling down in Spring Hill. Looks to be a tight game, still trying to get a score on that one. Kick is away. And the Raptors take it across the 30 to the 31 yard line. JT Smitherman on the return. So Summit led 14 to seven and a half. It remains that score in the second half right now. So a tight game down in Spring Hill too. So the Memphis teams competing well with the Middle Tennessee teams tonight as this game is tied. Brentwood and Germantown in a tight game. Collierville and Indy in a tight game. And now Houston and Summit as well. Parson takes a snap, hands off. And Chapman will take it for a gain of two. Be second down and a long eight. Score of note at the end of three quarters. Brickwood, 21. Germantown, 21. Brentwood and Germantown are now tied up, according to our PA announcer. Parson looking to move the Raptors, second down and nine. Takes a snap, hands off. Chapman is stacked up again. No, nothing going for the run game here in the second half. Not really, and we're not seeing much variation with the running play calls either. We're just getting, we're just running into a wall right now with this Whitehaven defense performing outstanding the last two possessions. It's Whitehaven line anchored by a couple of all region standouts. Javante Mackey, Ricky Wilson. Ma Mamadou Diara is a talented linebacker as well. Parson takes a snap, rolls out to his left, and he's dancing Pressure around, coming. and he will throw it, and it'll be complete. They will mark him out of bounds. Great catch. Looks like he got both in at the 40. Blake Irvin at the 46-yard line. Much needed first down there. Huge play. And they're talking about it. Hopefully this stands because this is a big conversion for the Raptors. But it won't. It is a hold. So now it will be third and long. Frustrating night for this Raptor offense. Can't seem to catch a break. Whew. So, ball is at the 21-yard line. Line to gain is the 41. That will be 20, 20 yards here. Third and 20. Parson. Takes a snap, and uh, Whitehaven jumps off sides, I believe. Yep, so that will get five back for free. That'll make it third and 15. Let's do that three more times. We're good. Yeah. Still not an ideal positioning for third down, but we'll take it. Third and 15, perhaps a little bit more manageable. Parson takes a snap, drops back, steps up in the pocket. Now he's flushed out. Now he'll run to his right. Looks to get a little bit of room. Chucks Gremlin. it way downfield, and oh. it is incomplete. Threw that one up for grabs. Edmondson goes to make a play on the ball, but it's incomplete. Raptors will have to punt. 
Whitehaven defense showing what they're capable of. They have been impressive here, particularly in the second half. We've got 51 seconds to go in the third quarter. Whitehaven hanging tough with the home standing Raptors. Dickinson on to punt, stands at his 13 yard line. Whitehaven runs a defender on at the last minute. There's a snap, Dickinson takes it and they blow it dead. And they're gonna call a false start on the Raptors. That'll back them up five yards. False start on Ravenwood. Still fourth down. Whew, what a nightmare. So 14 all, 51 seconds to go. Dickinson set to kick. He takes the snap. The kick is away. Whitehaven players kind of pointing like Ravenwood had jumped, but great open field tackle there by Miles Pollard. Big play on the ball. That was 16. Marcavius Johnson. One of the dynamic return specialists for Whitehaven. Dragged down after a two-yard gain on the punt. So it'll be first down Whitehaven. Carver comes back on to lead this Whitehaven offense. Raptors looking to get off the field here quickly. We've got 40 seconds to go in this third quarter. Carver takes it, runs to his right, and he will be stood up quickly. Loss of one on the play. Looked like he had a hole to work with, but it closed quick. It closed very quick. That was great penetration. As you said, they filled up the holes. Carver went down pretty quick there. Second and 11. Clock still running. Seven seconds left. This will... And they're going to let it run snapped. out. Play clock not even running. So it will be second and 11 for Whitehaven in their own territory. We will flip sides of the field, and now we've got uh, it all comes down to this fourth quarter tie game, 6A playoffs. Big four. This is when the conditioning shows up. Sue's prepared mentally, physically, and uh, maybe we can stop making mistakes and getting penalties. Yeah, been a rough night for Ravenwood, particularly on special teams and a couple of costly pass interference penalties that have kept some drives alive for Whitehaven. Hopefully that gets cleaned up here in the fourth quarter and the Raptors get out of here with the win. So it will be second and 11. Wayne Thurman, 3 DLP. Sonic, H.G. Hill. As we head to the fourth. We appreciate all you joining in on the YouTube broadcast. We apologize for the technical difficulties earlier. This game will be available on demand later. Carver under center, I formation. And there's a fumble, and Carver picks it up, and he will be... Oh, no. Well, oh, man, almost got out of it there. Two-yard loss. That could have been a disaster if he stayed on his feet. Heck of a play by Carver to keep that alive. Results in a one-yard loss and third and 13 coming up. Big, big play in this game right here. Much needed stop for the Raptors. Much needed stop. Raptor faithful on their feet. Cowbells ringing. Playoff football. Here we go. Carver under center, I formation. And they will toss sweep to the left, and he will be dragged down just short of the 50-yard line, gain of about four or five on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. They're going to fake it again here? It'd be risky, but they've done a lot of those. So Hasn't really phased them so far tonight. Wouldn't surprise me at all if they went for a fake. I believe their last fake. They were farther from the first down marker than they are now. Pulling him on 
allegedly to punt. High snap. He fields it. The kick is away. Putty Fair catches it at the 18-yard line. Raptors will take over at the their own 18. First and 10, 10.35 to go, 14 all. Hopefully the Raptor offense can find their rhythm. Uh, hasn't been going their way the past couple of possessions. So thanks for joining us on YouTube tonight. You're definitely getting your money's worth, but then again, it is free. So 10.35 to go. First and 10 Raptors. Parson in the gun. Takes a snap. Hand off up the middle. A little bit of room there for pace. And nice gain there on first down. Perhaps that'll give us a little bit more to work with. And there's a flag late. So that is going to be some extracurricular activity there. Yeah, I didn't really see what happened, but it was too late for something to happen during the play. So probably an unsportsmanlike. From the reaction, light. looks like it's against the Raptors. And it is. Personal foul against Ravenwood. It'll be second down. They will mark off 15 yards from the end of the run. Can't do that, man. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, that is a costly, costly penalty right there. So that'll make it second down and about 17. Not what the Raptors need at all as this becomes a game of field position. 10-24 to go, tie game, 14 all. Parson takes the snap and he will be sacked. Whitehaven playing with a lot of energy. So that will be third down. At the eight yard line, got to get to the 29. So third and 21. Not a lot of options here. 23 seconds. I would expect some kind of screen. Play clock at 17. Seven on the play clock. Raptors rush to the line. They're going to have to go quickly. Three. Two, he takes it, just got it off in time. Parson steps up in the pocket, and he will take off. Didn't have a lot of options. Good coverage down the field, and he will be knocked out at the 19. Back to the original line of scrimmage, but that will bring on the Raptor punt team as they're just not able to get anything going. Raptor offense is struggling for sure. Dickinson on the punt. He will stand at his own Seven yard line. Whitehaven all over with the trickery tonight. Looks like they're coming after the punt. Dickinson has it. Kick is up. High hanging kick. It is away. Fair caught at the 46 yard line. It'll be Whitehaven ball at their own 46. Raptor defense will be asked to step up again. It's 9.14 to go here in the fourth. Ravenwood 14, Whitehaven 14. White, Whitehaven looking to put together a drive here and take the lead for the first time tonight. First and 10, Whitehaven at the 47-yard line. It's getting loud here. Carver runs to his left and will be stacked up after a gain of a couple. Raptor defense on top of that one right there. Second and seven. Smitherman on the stop. Ravenwood trying to make a play here. Carver brings him to the line. Yeah. 
In the gun. Oh, that was a false start right it there. It was. So actually, they're in the Wildcat. Bradley set to take the snap. The running back, number six, Hall, took a step too early there. So that will make it second down and 13. Raptor defense looking to capitalize on that mistake there. So Carver back in. Bradley is the deep back, I formation. One receiver split out to the right. And there is the handoff to Bradley, kind of cuts through the hole there, big body. Stood up at the 50, that will bring up third down and seven. An injured Whitehaven player on the play. Referees will blow it dead with 7.55 to go here in the fourth quarter. Officials timeout. So this is a huge play. Whitehaven defender heading off the field. Big, big play right here. This is game changing. And you kind of got to stuff them real good because if they get up close, you know they'll go for it. This could be four down territory as they are on the Raptors side of the field. Carver hands off to Bradley, runs to his right. Breaks a tackle, but he will be stuffed up by a host of Raptors. Only a gain of one. Very well Fourth played down. by the defense. And here comes Pulliam. They will send the punt team on the field. Mm. Doesn't mean they'll punt. Yeah. Surely Ravenwood won't be fooled again. Putty back deep at the 15. Intense, intense game here tonight off Wilson Pike. It's definitely going to come down to it. 7.05 to go. Whitehaven running a player on late. And Blake Lock. Oh, Blake high Lock snap. They snap it. Punter's Over running back head. to get the ball. I don't know. He's going to just pick it up and go he'll down. Be down. Wow. So the play clock was at one. They snap it quickly over Pulliam's head, and it's a monster loss. The ball was spotted at the Ravenwood 47. Ravenwood will take over at the Whitehaven 23-yard line. I don't know what the officials are talking about here. I mean, they didn't blow it dead. They didn't call they delay didn't. a game. You can't, you can't but change it. But there's a it. flag right there. Uh, it's an illegal shift. That will be declined. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Ugh. Shout out to my guy, Brett Beeler, who is tuning in. You're missed. Nonetheless, first down Raptors, 23-yard line. Got to convert this. You need six for sure to put this Whitehaven team down. And so they can rid them of their energy because Whitehaven's got a lot of it right now. Their defense has been absolutely stifling this Raptor offense. Raptors have not gotten a lot done here, particularly in the second half, really outside of the first quarter. Parson in the gun, Chapman to his left, three receivers to his right. He's looking to throw, steps up in the pocket. He will tuck it. And now he will just heave it. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown. What, what an play. amazing throw by Parson. you got to be kidding me. Lee Millette on the catch. It looked like he was just trying to get rid of it. It looked like he was just going to throw it out of bounds, but off his back foot, he gets it off, and it's a perfect pass. What a quick change of events. The snap over the head. The next play, Parson makes a play. Touchdown, Ravenwood. That will give Ravenwood a 20-14 lead with 6.34. And everybody here breathes a sigh of relief. Much needed points right there. Anderson on for the extra point. It is up. It is good. Ravenwood leads 21-14 with 6.34 to go. 
A lot of life here on this Ravenwood sideline now. What a difference a play can make. It's a great job by the offense, making them pay for their mistakes on that uh, high snap that sent Whitehaven way down the field on fourth down. So Ravenwood will kick off. Six minutes, 34 seconds remain. In the fourth quarter. Alinejad on for the kickoff. Whitehaven took one to the house early in the first quarter on a trick play. A little end around on the kickoff. Raptors will need to cover this one to maintain this momentum. Be nice just to put this one through the end zone, but oh. this one's going to be a squibber and is knocked down by Whitehaven at the 33 yard line and pounced on. Probably a pretty smart play. Do not want to test the backs for Whitehaven and they possess a tremendous speed as we've seen on this play tonight. So it'll be first and 10 Whitehaven from their own yard line. Six thirty four to go. Raven with twenty one. White Haven fourteen. Ron Bowie in the backfield. Two receivers up to his left. Crowd is juiced now. There's the handoff to Bowie. He will run to his left and he will go nowhere. Matt right at the line of scrimmage and brought down by three rapid defenders. Ray Reed covering all the gaps. It's the rapid defense. Second and ten. Ravenwood making plays here late. The big play of the night, the special teams miscue by Whitehaven, snapped over the punter's head. And giving Ravenwood great field position and scoring one play later. Whitehaven trying to answer. Carver steps back, three-step drop, steps up in the pocket, he'll run it. He'll be chased down. Oh, oh no. makes a nice move. Makes another nice move, and he's going to get a first down and then some. He will take it into Raptor territory, just over the 50-yard line. First down, Whitehaven. Escape the pocket there. First down, Tigers. First and 10, Whitehaven Tigers. Cody takes the snap, handoff to Bradley. Short gain this time. About two. They'll blow the forward progress dead. Second and eight coming up. Clock is moving, 5-10. Whitehaven huddles up. Got to believe they're in four down territory now. Clock is running. Both teams have all their timeouts. Raptor faithful getting after it. Cowbells are ringing. Takes the direct snap, runs to his right, and he will be wrapped up quick. Maybe half a yard on the play, and that could be generous. That'll be third down. We'll call it eight. Big play here. If they can hold him for a lesser gain, then maybe they will be discouraged to not go for it on fourth down. Time running short, 4-10 to go. Oh, and that's gonna be a false start, number 85. Came out of his stance. That is very costly if you're Whitehaven. That's a killer right there. Gotta stay still. Looks like third and 13 or 14. We'll call it 14. Timeout Whitehaven. So 
have to burn the timeout. We are down to four minutes, six seconds. Ravenwood clinging to a 21 to 14 lead. Heck of a game here tonight. Checking some other games. Nolansville leads station camp 49 to 21. Ouch. Trying to check the Brentwood score here as we have the timeout. And uh, it's hard to figure out on their Twitter feed. There's just no score. It was tied up 21 all at the end of the third, so I assume it's still tied. But back to action here. It is third down. 14 for Whitehaven. Three receivers out wide. Carver fakes it to his left, now throws it down the seam, and Ooh. it is caught. That's a great catch. What a play. First down, that's Bradley. Making plays out there tonight. What a phenomenal athlete he is. He's 6'3", 180-pound senior, who looks more like a 6'5", 220 senior from here. <laughs> but whatever. First down, Whitehaven. Carver takes the snap, throws it out to his left, and it'll be complete. Three minutes and 40 seconds remain. Ref waving his hands up in the air. There looks like there was a, well, it's gonna say second down. They haven't moved those, there they go. Out of bounds, so the clock is stopped, 3.40. Second and six, and the Raptors will burn a timeout here, it looks like. Timeout Ravenwood. It is getting down to crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. 3.40 to go. Whitehaven ball on the 28-yard line. It will be second and six when we return to action. And this has been a heck of a game between these two teams. Yes, another, it has. another classic battle between Whitehaven and Ravenwood in the playoffs. Back and forth all night. And it's gonna come down right to it. Brentwood game is coming down to the wire as well. Less than a minute to go there. I believe the score is still 21 all. Whitehaven comes out of their huddle, setting up their offense. And here we go, second down and six. Carver under center. Bradley is the deep back. He is seven yards deep. Fumbles, Fumbles the snap the ball. and then tucks it and runs. And it'll be a gain of about four on the play. Looked to be some early movement that went uncalled there. That'll be third down. It will be third and three. Crucial play here. Four down territory for sure for Whitehaven. 3.15 on the clock. Ravenwood leads 21-14. And it is loud. Bradley is the deep back. And they will go for a pass. Take the pass and, and it is missed. incomplete. Interesting play call. Y'all got a really strong running backs. I feel like you could punch it through there, but. Intended for Stewart. Probably knew they had another down to work with. Rolled the dice true. on that. Poorly thrown ball, the outside shoulder. Really had no chance. So, fourth and three. For all intensive purposes, for Whitehaven, this could be the game. Game deciding play for sure. Let's go Raptors. Fourth and three. Trying to get him to jump. Hand off. And there's a handoff and there's a flag. That's gonna be a false start. Flag on the field. Yes, sir. Whitehaven is going backwards, wow. That'll make it fourth and eight. What a very untimely penalty there for Whitehaven. 2.54 to go. Yeah, not enough time and they can't accept the field goal. They're down by a touchdown at 21 and 14, so definitely going for it. 
But did not reset the play clock yet. It sits at 25. Now it runs. 2.54, clock has stopped. I think Whitehaven is going to burn a timeout here. At least the whole team is going over to the sideline. Now they run back out. 13 on the clock. They're going to get to get organized quick. They break the huddle. It is 8, 7. They run a player off. 4, and they get it off. And there it is, Bradley. Pitch, He's going to play. He's heaving it up. And it's, and it's dropped. Wow. Incomplete. Risky play call. I like it, but it's dropped right at about where the touchdown is, and Ravenwood's going to get the ball back. Second halfback pass they have tried with Bradley tonight. Ravenwood takes over on downs. Whitehaven, two timeouts remaining, has a slight opportunity to get the ball back, but one Ravenwood first down here would about wrap this thing up. So here we go. Two... 46 to go. Ravenwood offense comes out on the field needing one first down to ice this game. Carson in the gun. Hands off to Pace. Who kind of dances through the line. We'll pick up about four. Whitehaven waiting to burn the timeout. And my apologies, no, they do burn the timeout. So, they have one timeout left, 2.38 to go. Raptors need to have sure hands here in what has been an exciting football game in the 6A playoffs tonight. We appreciate all 43 people who have decided to tune in to some high school playoff football here at Raven 1 High School. Yes, much appreciated. So Coach Hester meeting with his offense. Whitehaven hoping to get the ball back. So Summit has pulled away from Houston, extended their lead 27 to seven. They look to advance. Now back to action here. Parson takes a snap, runs it up the middle and is tripped up. No gain on the play. Parson with the keeper. Clock is ticking. Play clock starts at 38. So they will take this next snap and it will be under two minutes. In fact, it will be a minute 50 if they take it all the way down. Whitehaven still has one timeout in their back pocket, so if they can get a stop here, they will be able to burn that timeout. First down, and the game is basically over. Tight formation for the Raptors. Carson Wade takes it with five, takes it out to his... Big stiff arm. Left. Yeah. Redirect it. Stay in Ask bounds. for a block. Stay in bounds. Ooh, don't go out. He does. Oh, tripped the ref up. Yep. That's the one that's had all the bad spots anyway, so yeah. whatever. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fourth down. And the clock is – White Haven uh, takes the timeout. I'm just kidding. I don't think that ref's going to go back and watch this, but whatever. Uh, so anyway. Hope not. Well, I don't know. That would be fourth down. And about five, a minute 39. So Whitehaven will get the ball back. It's not over yet, folks. So likely bringing Dickinson on to punt here. Actually, it'll be fourth and nine. Lost a few on that play. So Raptors will have to come up with one more stop. Good crowd on hand tonight. Oh, the offense is coming onto the field. Interesting. Really? I would think to just kick it down there and put you the faith in the defense because you're kind of screwing yourselves. This doesn't work out. 
Maybe Parson is going to quick kick here. Trying Looking to get for a jump, jump, I think. Uh, clock is not running, so we're at 139. 10 on the play clock. I imagine Ravenwood's going to run this down and possibly take a timeout. That would be my guess. And that is what they're going to do. So we got back-to-back -back timeouts here. Coach Hester trying to draw them off sides. See if he can make it a little bit more manageable. Testing the discipline of this Whitehaven defensive line. Did not work. They just announced the Brentwood score. I missed it. See so find here. Kick is good for Brentwood. So Brentwood hits a field goal to win it at the horn. Congrats to the Bruins on their big playoff win. Coach Clint Finch, former offensive coordinator for Brentwood, turned head coach, also former Will Hester assistant, gets a big win. Great guy. Congratulations, Coach. Nonetheless, Brendan Dickinson on for the punt here. A dangerous return man, number 16, Marquarius Johnson back for Whitehaven. Don't want to kick it to him. I imagine Dickinson will try and sky this and hope for a fair catch. And that's exactly what a booming kick. And he started a little bit and he didn't call the fair did catch, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, he kind of hesitated a little bit. They're just going to mark it dead there. He got hit. The ref just stood there. So whatever. Uh, first and 10, Whitehaven at the 36-yard line. A lot of baffling things going on tonight. Yeah, that was a little confusing. Cause Nonetheless, here we go. First down, Whitehaven, minute 29 to go, 21-14, Raptors. Coming right down to the wire, folks. Carver with three receivers to the right. Raptor fans are loud and proud. Man in motion. Carver takes a snap. Quick out to his Ooh. left. That is dropped at the 40-yard line. That will bring up second and 10. Trying to work the boundary over there on that far side. One minute, 24 seconds remain. Carver in the gun, takes the snap, and uh, we're going to have a timeout here. Timeout, Raptors. Timeout. Ravenwood timeout. So it will be second and 10, 123 to go. Both teams out of timeouts now. Second and 10, Raptors leave the sideline. All right, second and 10, here we go. Carver in the gun. Two receivers to his left, two to his right. Bradley set next to him. going on here no clue all righty they're all kind of standing here looking at each other is it a clock thing they're trying to yeah. change the time so it'll be reset to 124 because that one second is a big deal it is so here we go always comes down to that Carver sets up quickly, throws it out to his right. It is caught, but he's brought down in 
inbounds is number nine, Javion Summerall. Gain of just three and the clock runs. We are at 110, but more importantly, third down. Big play here. Carver takes it, steps up in the pocket. Pressure, pressure. coming to Carver. And he's going to be brought down. Oh, my goodness. That's going to run the clock. 55 seconds remain. 21-14. That'll be fourth down. Whitehaven's got to get on the ball and get moving. That was a huge play right there. Fourth and long. This is their last chance. This could be it. Got to convert here. Drops back to pass. Heaves it up. No good. Incomplete. Look That's going to be the ball game. Ravenwood will send the offense out. Go in the victory formation. Hats off to these Whitehaven players tonight. Not a lot of people giving them a really good chance to come win this game. Driving up from Memphis today, the three seed out of Region 8, 6A, and put up a heck of a fight. In fact, some of the best defense we've seen all year. Kept the Raptors in check. Parson will come out with the offense and the victory formation and take, take a knee, and that'll be all she wrote. Very emotional on the... Whitehaven sideline, their quarterback, number 11, William Carver, getting hugged by his teammates. So that will do it. Parson takes a knee. They will reset the play clock, and that will be all she wrote. Ravenwood with the win over Whitehaven tonight. The Raptors will move to 9-2 and two and move on to the second round of the 6A playoffs next Friday night to play either Independence or Collierville as we await the score of that game. If Independence wins, the game would be here at Ravenwood. Collierville wins. The Raptors will travel west to the suburb of Memphis and take on the Collierville Dragons. Heck of a game tonight. Thanks for stepping in tonight. We appreciate it. Heck yeah, man. It's been fun. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in to this broadcast of Raptor Athletics. Have a good night, and we will see you soon. See ya.